happens next, Encore? Yeah, we want to hear the rest of the story. Oh, settle down, you two. The Wooly Warrior will come out once everyone's nicely in their seats. Plus, Encore is still waiting for a friend. Ah, there he is. Rover! Encore finally got to see you again. Encore was wondering if you'd come, and even had Cosmos and Cloudy go scouting for you. Encore wants you to come play with us and listen to our stories. Everyone was so busy the last time Encore's here in Jinjo, we didn't even get to play together. But Encore won't let that happen again, cause Encore's here on vacation this time. Of course they do. Everyone at Black Shores is really nice. Even someone as busy as Alto gets to have them. Anyway, since we finally got some free time, I told Alto I wanted to visit some friends in Jinjo. Oh, but he just lay in his chair, bragged about how he has so much grown-up stuff to worry about and was too busy for playtime. Oh, poor grown-ups. They're always so busy. They don't even have time for stories. Well, too bad for Alto. All I could do was come here by myself with my stories and Alto's wallet. Right, let me introduce you to everyone. But I think most of them have heard about you already. Gather round, everyone. Encore presents to you Rover, savior of Jinjo, hero of heroes. trying to hide it already. Yeah! Encore told us how you took out that giant TD like this, this, and that! <sighs> so cool! Are you here for some stories, Big Hero? Yep! Encore stories are really fun! Last time we had one about a big bad wolf that can turn itself into mist! Sounds a lot like Alto. Oh, oh! There's this other story about a golden-eyed kitty and his little birdie friend with gray feathers. This one's about me and Yang Yang. Uh-huh. There's plenty more of them. This time, Encore's got a whole new story to tell. It's about the adventures of the Wooly Warrior. You'll love it. Right! Adventures are the best! So, want to hear Encore's stories? If you enjoy stories, Rover, you might even get to go inside one. What do you say, Woolies? Ah! Go inside a story? Is Encore using some kind of metaphor? Doesn't hurt to check it out, I guess. has even saved a front row seat just for you. All right, settle down, everyone. The story's about to start. it last time. Nope. Today's story will be about the Wooly Warrior and how she makes her wishes come true. The story begins in a land of boundless imagination known as the Wooly Kingdom. 
Legend says that deep within the kingdom's castle lies a magical gateway. Whoever passes through it can have any wish come true. To reach this gateway, you must first go over a great many obstacles. Yet, countless adventurers still choose to embark on this journey, for each holds wishes to fulfill. Before setting off on their quests, Fairy Cloudy will ask them, Should you pass through this mythical gateway, you will be granted endless wealth and honor, along with a treasure trove of unforgettable memories. Now, answer me this. What drives you to venture on this risky journey? If you'd ask me, I'd choose wealth. That way, I can buy all the star flakes I can eat. <laughs> I'd definitely choose honor. That way I'll be famous and everyone would shout my name whenever they see me. Wherever. What about you, brave adventurer? Do you seek riches or fame? Think the woolly warrior would say, oh, Maybe the two of you can team up and adventure together. See? Everyone's wishes are different, which also makes their journeys unique. And among these people, there's a small adventurer that goes by the name of Woolly Warrior. When asked about her desires, she replies, I do not seek wealth or honor. Bah! Fairy Cloudy, greatly puzzled by this reply, goes on to ask, If you desire neither wealth nor honor, why do you choose to venture to the Gateway of Wishes? I have but one wish, to be reunited with my family. Fairy Cloudy nods in approval and offers her guidance to the little warrior. Very well. Then believe in my tale and close your eyes, little warrior and her companions. When you open your eyes, a brand new adventure shall unfold before you. Once we've completed this story together, your wishes will all be granted. So, does the Wooly Warrior's companion accept this invitation? Hey, hey! Over here! Is that Encore? I should go check it out. to this place. Are you also searching for the Gateway of Wishes? Gateway of Wishes? Looks like I'm inside Encore's story somehow. That's great. How about we team up? I have a wish I want to make too. Since it's your first time here, everything must feel strange to you, huh? This is the Woolly Kingdom, a land filled with lots and lots of woolies. Look! Even the clouds are shaped like them. You're in luck. I know this place like the back of my hand. I can be your tour guide. Yippee! Let's go! Fairy Cloudy told me that as long as we walk along this path, we'll get there eventually. Once we're there, I gotta make her tell us where all the treasure is hidden. Where many woolly stories begin. When a story gets longer, so will the paths ahead. We might even come across broken bridges and stuff. <sighs> Since we'll only be telling the beginning of the story this time, 
we should get to the end pretty soon. <laughs> You're in for some surprises. Bah! Please let me oh, look at all these monsters. Let's beat them up. scared pretty easily, but she's really nice and will give us directions. She's even got all the settings prepared and everything. So, you're searching for the Gateway of Wishes. <laughs> all you need to do is follow this path and collect three relics. <laughs> yes, the first relic is the Sword of Courage. To obtain it, you'll have to face all of your challenges Head on. Be careful. Next, the Shield of Faith. This is a tricky one. But so long as you believe in yourself, you'll find it eventually after searching every nook and cranny. And finally, the Wreath of Hope. A crown of flowers that can reflect a person's thoughts. Never with us, forever blossoming. Once you've gathered all three relics, the Gateway of Wishes will open before you. Perfect. Now that we have clues about the relics, Wooly Warrior's adventures are officially a go. All we need to do now is go through this door and we'll be back to the real world. Oh, thank you, Fairy Cloudy. Oh, you're very welcome, dear. If you have any more questions, do come back anytime. Bye-bye now. It's gotta be a dragon's treasure. Welcome back from the Woolly Kingdom. Yuppers! It's where all the Woolly stories begin. Cosmos and Cloudy's home. With their help, Encore can even invite friends for a visit. But not everyone though. The Woolly Kingdom won't welcome anyone who thinks the stories are just made up. You're different. You're one of Encore's best friends and have listened to my stories. So Encore wanted to give you a surprise. I know, right? You and I work great as a team. Encore really enjoys this story. In it, Wooly Warrior and her companions work their way out of all kinds of trouble, just like we did. Mom said that as long as you believe, the stories will give you strength. So whenever I think of them, it makes my heart feel warm. And Encore wants to share this warm feeling with you and make you happy too. Because Encore loves to play an adventure with you. It's just that everyone was so busy last time. But this time, Encore's here on vacation. Curious about what happens next in the story, Rover? If you are, you should join Encore's adventure team. That way, we can go and find out its ending together. Mm, sure, you can be captain, and Encore will be the vice captain. Now, for our first team assignment, let's go find out everyone's thoughts on the story. The joys of the story should be shared with everyone. It's not just my story. Once we know what the audience thinks, we'll know how to work on the story going forward. After all, it's the applause that makes for a curtain call. Okay, let's see. Look, that girl by herself over there wonders what she thinks about the story. Come on, let's go ask her. Hey, I saw you all by yourself over here. What's your name? 
I... I'm... Ying. Ying! Got it! This is Rover. He's the captain of Team Willy. Y yes Hello. You're here to ask about my thoughts on the story, right? I actually have something to ask you. Ask away! Encore will answer anything! Oh, okay. Is it true that after gathering all three relics, you can have your wishes come true? Yeah, it's what it says in the story. I... I'd like you to see this. Let me see. Uh, it's a map on a piece of wood. That looks like a lighthouse. And a giant rock over here. But Encore can't really tell exactly where it is. Whoa, you can tell just from that? Oh, you must have been to every corner of Jinjo. There. An area on the map is circled out with a sword-shaped sign on it. Wait, could this be a treasure map? That sign must be the Sword of Courage. Uncle remembers that at some point of the story, the woolly warrior will get her hands on a treasure map. This map. Where did you find it? It's from my mom. This map is a promise we made. Mom took me to a play one time. I remember in that play, the adventurers wanted to have their wishes come true. So with the woolly fairy's help, they set off to find the legendary relics. Just like in the story you told us. After watching it, I asked Mom all the time if these relics that could make wishes come true were real, and whether we could go look for them. But she was always busy with work as a ranger, so she wasn't home much. Then, one day, Mom gave me this treasure map. She said she got it from the Woolly Fairy, and it's for one of the hidden relics. She told me next time she came back from work, she would go relic hunting with me, and that I wouldn't have to be afraid of anything with her around. She wanted me to think hard about what I'd wish for most once we found all the relics. I... I thought of a lot of wishes. I wanted to have all the star flakes I could eat, Lots and lots of new toys. But, but now, I only have one wish. I want to see my mom again. There are so many things I want to tell her. <sighs> the grown-ups all said that mom was on a mission somewhere far, far away. But I felt like they were hiding something from me. I knew Mom was never coming home. But I just wanted to see her again. And then I told Dad about the map. And he just hugged me and didn't say anything. But when I heard your story, I was thinking, if it's all true, then maybe, just maybe... Then you should join our team! Encore knows that grown-ups always say that kind of thing just to be nice. Most of them are okay, just a little stuffy sometimes. Encore's heard a lot of them before, so Encore can tell what's real and what's not. Like this treasure map? It's 100% real, that's for sure. Y you really think so? Yep, trust me. Since your mom left you this treasure map, then there's more reason we should go look for it. Plus, Rover and I are searching for an ending to the story. Now, the 
clue to the ending is right in our hands. What do you say, Captain? Let's get this journey started! Team Wooly is ready to roll out. Objective, the three relics. Hmm, I'm not really familiar with Jinjo. Have you ever been to that place, Ying? Yeah. Mom would sometimes take me on a field trip there. But she warned me not to go there alone, because TDs might show up. That's why she said she wanted to go with you. Together. All right then, it's settled. Let's go. Got no time to waste. According to the treasure map, the sword should be around here somewhere. Why are there so many Tic Tacs? Are they having a party? Uh, they look really angry. No need to be afraid, Ying. We'll keep you safe. You probably don't know this, but Wooly Warrior once met a huge cat monster a hundred times stronger than her. And she was so scared that her legs were trembling. Uh, really? That's right. But even so, she stood her ground. Because she had all of her friends behind her, she had to fight. Just like the situation we're in now. You can't let a few small TDs beat you down. Let's make this quick, Encore. Leave it to me. <sighs> None shall whisper. Endure and defy. <clears throat> One with the sounds. You two were incredible. <laughs> you betcha! Wait till you see what else we can do. Am I right, Rover? We'll take on anything they chuck at us. Quick! Let's check and see if the sword's around here. Uh, is that some kind of puzzle over there? Do we need to put something inside of it to activate it? Oh. It's a bit too high for Ying and me to reach. I got it. Looks like we just need to place the treasure map on top. another puzzle. Was it not in the story before? Well, random twists and moments do happen. We're so high up. This is even higher than any of the climbing games Mom and I used to play. Just keep looking ahead and it won't be as scary. It's easy. Here, watch. story that can slice through anything? It's the mountain chopping sword of courage. Huh. The sword's actually made out of wood. And 
it's missing a small piece too. Look, there's a letter. What does it say? Hmm... My dear little warrior, you found the first relic. Right now, you must be thinking, what a plain-looking sword. How could this ordinary wooden sword possibly be the legendary Sword of Courage? Don't feel disappointed just yet. Think back on what you've been through so far. All the challenges you faced along the way. The waves under your feet felt so high to you. And the treasure chest above seemed ever so far away. Yet still, you continued to climb the mountains every step of the way until you finally reached the peak. Your courage has been heard. And this seemingly ordinary wooden sword is the proof of your courage. Yeah, that's what it says in the letter. How did you know, Encore? Did it also appear in other woolly stories? Uh-uh. Uh, anything else? Did the letter mention any clues about the next relic? We still have two to go. Um, yes. It goes on to say, Oh, little warrior, your adventure doesn't end here. To have your wishes come true, courage alone is not enough. You need not look far, as the shield that symbolizes faith is buried right beneath your very feet. In a land covered in sand, treasures may lay, or there may be nothing at all. A land covered in sand. I know just the place. Then let's go check it out! Sounds like it'll be a treasure hunt in the sand. Adventurers reach their second destination, and thus they start a hunt for the legendary Shield of Faith on this sand covered beach. They say only the bravest adventurers can find it as it puts their will to the test. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yin can go left, Onkar will go right, and you can take care of the middle. If anyone finds anything interesting, show me and we can take a look at it together. Okay. Seems like a new discovery. Well, did you find the shield? Oh, me neither. Ying even came over and asked me if the shield truly exists. What do you think? <laughs> We're thinking the same thing! It's because the treasure map was given to Ying by her mother. And she did it so that Ying's wishes could come true. Uncle's Absolutely certain that the shield is out there somewhere. And that's why Encore will keep looking for it. <sighs> An 
unexpected discovery. Bingo. This has to be the Shield of Faith. Hmm. There's a letter attached to it. I should bring it over to Encore and Ying. <sighs> well? Did you find the shield? <gasps> Way to go! I know who to call if I ever need to find something. I'll go get Ying. This should be the shield mentioned in the story. It's also made of wood. But look how well made it is! With the Sword of Courage in one hand and the Shield of Faith in the other, it's an invincible combo! The person who crafted this shield really knew their stuff. Time for clues about the next relic, the Wreath of Hope. Hurry! Ying! What does it say? Oh, okay. Let's see here. It says... Congratulations again to you, my little warrior. Although the bulk of your efforts were in vain, you did not give up and continued searching. Hence, this shield of faith is your well-deserved reward. If you ever feel lost in the future, why not take a moment and ponder on the meaning of your journey? The firm belief in our hearts shall guide us through darkness until we reach the light of hope. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, how can you find the wreath of hope? Bring with you your wishes and proceed to the Garden of Promise. The Garden? The Garden of Promise. Oh, I think I might know where it is. Fantastic! Then that's our next stop. Onwards! This is it. This place, uh, feels empty. There's nothing here. It is now. But, but it used to be filled with irises. This is my mom's garden. She used to love flowers and would plant a lot of them when she wasn't busy. Before she left, she asked me to help look after it and said she'd come see it with me when she's back. I watered them every day, hoping they could bloom longer. But these flowers only bloom for a short time. They all withered in the end. Dad told me, don't be sad, sweetie. It's the natural cycle of life. I understood that. But it always reminds me of my promise to mom. I miss her so much. Now I see this shield and sword are all treasures that mom left me. And here, I think she probably wanted to make a wreath with me using those flowers. Oh. Ying. Thank you, Encore and Rover. Actually, when I saw Dad looking sad while holding the map, I had the feeling that Mom might have left this treasure map to play a game with me. Maybe it is like what the grown-ups say. The gateway of wishes doesn't exist and I may never get to see her again, talk to her, and tell her how much I've grown. But Mom must have wanted to give me a surprise, to make me happy. I am happy. 
because we managed to find all the treasures she left behind together. I'll definitely find a nice place to keep this sword and shield safe. I think we should end our adventure here. Thank you, Encore and Rover. <sighs> Our captain hasn't announced the end of our adventure yet. And you're thinking about leaving already? Well, okay then. Let's call it a day right here. There's some stuff I need to wrap my head around too. I remember you asked me about the ending of the Wooly Warrior, right? Even though we finished finding the relics, Team Wooly's adventure goes on. There are still plenty of stories to tell. Uh, oh, I know. How about you come to Encore's story session tomorrow afternoon? Tomorrow? You mean right here? Yeah. If you want to find out what happens to Team Wooly, come over and listen to the rest of the story. Be there or be square. I... Okay, then. I'll see you tomorrow. Yup! See you tomorrow, Ying. Do you think this is a good ending to the story? Yeah. After all, Ying didn't receive the reef, and she didn't get to see her mother. Even though in the end, the little warrior did manage to collect all of the relics left by her, realizing her mother's intentions. <sighs> but Encore still feels like something's missing. And this ending? She didn't even make it to the Gateway of Wishes. Just like in the story of the Wooly Warrior. What do you think? Will the Wooly Warrior's wish come true in the end? If it comes true, then she should be able to see her family again. After such a wonderful and interesting adventure, she must have so much to say to them. But actually, there is no true ending to Wooly Warrior's story. Remember the play Ying told us about when she showed us the treasure map? Ying said she'd already forgotten what most of the play was about. All she could remember was that the hero had been searching for a legendary treasure to make their wishes come true. Ha! I knew straight away that the treasure map wasn't for the Wooly Warrior's sword. But it was a gift left to her by Ying's mother. Wanna guess how I found out? Yeah, that play was about the Wooly Warrior story. And I remember each and every part of it. Because that play... was a gift from my mom. Now time for a story from Encore. In this story, there are no exciting adventures, no terrifying monsters. It didn't happen once upon a time, and it's not somewhere far, far away. Rather, it's in a little room. Every night, there's a little girl. She plays games with her mother. Playing as the Wooly Warrior, together, she and her mom Create story after story about courage and hope. It also happens in a theater. Every day, the little girl sits below the stage. The curtain rises and the music plays. She watches her mother set everything up. Bring in the woolly kingdom from the story into real life. Little by little, the Wooly Kingdom becomes real! And the Wooly Warrior sets off on her adventure. Ha! 
she first climbs the tallest mountain. Looking for the legendary sword that can split mountains and seas. But it's really so the girl can prove how brave she is. The toolbox was actually on the tallest shelf. The wooly warrior also searches every beach. Looking high and low for the shield of faith that could brave any storm. Her house had many nooks and crannies after all. The raspberry candy her mom hid could be anywhere. Her mom recorded all the Wooly Warrior's adventures, so the Wooly Kingdom grew bigger and bigger, and the stories grew longer and longer. They even performed the play in many cities. But the little girl's mom got sicker. At the last show, just before the Wooly Warrior got the wreath of hope, the show ended. But there was no encore. Mom told me that once the applause starts at the final show of our tour, she'd take me onto the stage to make a wish. But she collapsed before the play ended. I was so scared. I tried to come up with ways to make her feel better. I even kept a daily to-do list. At the time, I thought that if I stayed a good girl like the characters in the stories, Mom would get better and better. But her illness got worse. She didn't get better. And the gateway of wishes never appeared. Encore didn't know what to do anymore. Mom just asked me to sit by her bed and tell her stories. So I told her about Warrior Cosmos, Fairy Cloudy, and many other things. <laughs> she always smiled each time. It was right around that time when Cosmos and Cloudy appeared from the stories. Mom told me they're a part of life. And these stories will always be with me. After she left, Encore had to become the Wooly Warrior, going on adventures on her own. Whether it was in the orphanage or with the Black Shores, Encore would write down everything she experienced. With these stories, Mom will know what kind of adventures Encore had and all the friends Encore made. Later on, Encore wanted to continue writing the Wooly Warrior story, but this time, it's a bit different from before. Now she has her own friends, friends that she can adventure together to find the gateway of wishes. <laughs> because finding that gateway is the only way she can tell all her stories to her mom. So, she knows how well she did. That's why. Yeah, she said she had a lot to say to her mother. Oh, just like me. There's so much Encore wants to say, and so many stories that Encore wants Mum to hear. Our time with Ying reminded me of all of that. Even though Wooly Warrior's story has no true ending, will Ying's be any different? 
Will she be able to make her wish come true? In the end, Ying said the adventure is over, and it's just a story. She said she was happy and satisfied with that. But... Encore saw that look on her face. She looked really, really sad. Encore knows how it feels. Just like how it used to be. No matter what Encore did, Mom wouldn't get any better. My stories were the only things that could make her feel happy. It was Mom who made me understand the power of stories. That's why after I went on this journey alone, Cosmos and Cloudy came out of the land of imagination. And it's why Encore told Ying that our adventure should not end like this. This story deserves a better ending. Agreed. The story must have an ending. But what should we do? Oh, there's no way we can bring Ying's mother back. I mean, the Gateway of Wishes doesn't actually exist in real life. In the story? I remember Cloudy said that if you ever find yourself in a pickle in real life, you can always go back to the Wooly Kingdom to search for clues. You also mentioned that's where the Gateway of Wishes is hidden, right? And you've always wanted to finish writing the story of the Wooly Warrior. This means the final stage of the story should be set inside the Wooly Kingdom. <gasps> Encore sees what you mean. Encore could invite you and Ying into the Wooly Kingdom and go on a real adventure with me, the Wooly Warrior. But uh, the kingdom isn't some place you can go willy-nilly. Only those who believe in the kingdom can visit. We should make a wreath for her and let her know that our adventure is not over yet. Uncle remembers it went something like this. The wreath is a crown of flowers that can reflect a person's thoughts. Never withers, forever blossoming. Uh, how are we gonna make it? You mean, Verena? Oh, that's right! Verena loves flowers. She's a flower's best friend. Let's see if she has any ideas. <laughs> Hi, Rover. Oh, Encore's here too. How's it been? Are you here to see the new blossoms? You'll have to wait a while. They're still a bit shy. Hey, Verena! Uh, not exactly. We're here to ask you how we can make the Wreath of Hope. The Wreath of Hope? I see. You want to help finish the story Ying's mother left her and make her wish come true. But I don't know how to make such a wreath either. According to the story, this wreath is made of various kinds of flowers. It can reflect a person's thoughts, and it must blossom forever and never wither. The flowers that can reflect people's thoughts... Um, the ones that I can think of are water lamps. These flowers emit a faint glow at night, and passersby use them to guide their way. Or wintry bells. Wintry bells bloom in cold and snowy weather. 
Seeing them in a cold winter will definitely make you happy. It can also be duvetches. Due to their sweetness, they remind people of sugary candies. However, these flowers all bloom in different seasons, so it'll be hard to put them together, let alone have them blossom forever and never wither. Yeah, I remember you created a Blake Bloom for Rover that one time. That's a bit different. Flowers made with Forte are just artificial creations. They can easily break up without actual substance. It's not the same as life. Every life has its own journey, from blooming to withering, recording the feelings of every moment along the way. Feelings? Oh, I know! Since we can't really make a wreath of flowers exactly like the one in the story, we can make one using our feelings! Yeah, exactly! When me and Mom made wreaths, she'd always ask me to pick my favorite flowers. If I was feeling happy, I would choose a bright red flower since it made my heart feel warm. And if I was feeling unhappy, I would take a blue one. At this point, it really doesn't matter what kind of flower it is. All that matters is everyone's feelings. We should make a wreath and tell Ying our wishes to make our dreams come true. I see what you mean. A wreath made with feelings. With that, you can express yourself. That's right! Let's find flowers that can express our feelings. When she sees the wreath, she'll definitely realize that the story of our team is still going. This way, we can all visit the Wooly Kingdom together. And maybe our wishes can come true. Do you mind if I help? Once you've collected enough flowers, bring them to me. I'll help you weave them into a wreath. Great! Oh, thank you, Verena. Off we go! you want. Look how pink it is. You must have been in a really good mood when you picked this one. And these? <laughs> these are Encore's picks. <laughs> That's quite the selection, Encore. What do they all represent? Uh, have a look at this one. It's gold and shiny, and it matches the color of your eyes, Rover. Encore pick flowers that resemble everyone. If we put them together, they can represent our whole team. Oh, that's pretty special. I'm sure it'll look really nice once they're all together. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, one more thing, Verena. Can you leave a spot here on the wreath? Leave a spot? It's for Ying. We don't know what kind of flower represents Ying's feelings, so we should leave a spot and let her decide which feeling to put on there. Got it. I'll take it from here. Ah, thank you so much, Verena. Rover, when the wreath is done, we can go tell Ying the rest of the story. Don't forget, tomorrow afternoon. You're right on time. Encore has just set everything up. See this little stage? Cosmos and Cloudy helped me set it up. <laughs> Pretty impressive, don't you think?
Cloudy says, Right on! That's teamwork for ya! <sighs> I know this is just a small stage for storytelling. I wanted to try the way Mom used to do it. She and I started the Wooly Warriors story after all. Besides, it'll be more fun this way. Uh, Uncle wonders if Ying will show up today. We didn't really pinky promise. for the wait. <sighs> Thank you. All right. Now that Team Wooly's fully assembled, is everyone ready for the story? Ready? Um, at this stage... This is the small stage Encore made for the play, where the warrior's adventure continues. <clears throat> Does anyone remember where we last left off? Oh, I know. The woolly warrior was trying to find the three relics, but I'm not sure if she will find them or not. That's right! The woolly warrior sets out to find the three relics. This time, she's not alone. She tries to climb to the top of the highest mountain with her trusty companions. With the mountain being so high up, the waves raging below them, she nearly falls several times. But her friends manage to keep her steady. In the end, she obtains the legendary Sword of Courage. Later, she arrives at the beach filled with sand as far as the eye can see. She searches and searches, and all she can find are just some tiny shells. But with the help from her friends, the Shield of Faith is uncovered. Only the wreath remains. W will she find it? Unfortunately, no. After reaching the mythical Sea of Flowers, all the flowers have withered. No matter where she searches, the Wreath of Hope is nowhere to be found. Just like us. Yet, her companions want to finish this adventure for her. They gather flowers and weave their feelings into the shape of a crown. The pink flowers are meant to make her feel happy. The blue flowers are hopes that she will not be scared of any obstacles. This wreath brings together all the feelings and emotions of the companions during their adventure. Their gift to her. And that is the moral of this story. Her companions remark so. The wreath isn't fully completed. It's missing a very important flower. Ying, this wreath is missing the flower that represents your feelings and Wishes. My feelings. I know. It's missing an iris. I've always wanted Mom to see a garden full of blooming irises. But those irises have already withered. What if we could find one? Find one? What if we could find an iris and the gateway of wishes? Will you want to continue on this adventure yet? I, uh, uh, of course. But I thought there was no such thing as the Gateway of Wishes. It only exists in the story. In the story? That's right! Because stories aren't just stories. When you believe in them, they'll really exist. Just like how it is now, with everyone's feelings combined into the wreath, it slowly turns into a door. A door that leads to the deepest parts of the woolly kingdom. Inside, the irises continue to bloom. So, do you believe in it and choose to continue this adventure? I... I believe. 
Please. Great! Off we go! Would you look at the sky? So this is the Woolly Kingdom. Oh, I love the repetition. This is the Woolly Kingdom. This story is gonna be longer than the last one. It looks like there'll be more puzzles to solve and more monsters to fight. And the door to make wishes should be in the deepest part. What are your orders, Captain? Yes. I want to find the gateway of wishes and then see my mom again. Let's get going. How do we get across? No worries. We can use that platform down there to fly across. There's a puzzle. Encore knows what to do. Encore played these with Mom before. All we need to do is match the patterns on the wall and it'll open a secret door. It's one of the most important puzzles in Woolly Warrior's story. Ah, it's open. Great job, Rover. Let's go inside. An airstream. We can use it to fly up. Oh, looks like we've reached the end. That was fun. I'll have to tell Mom about it when I see her. Okay. Time to find the exit. It's another one of those puzzles. I know. Let's look around for clues. Wow! You solved it in one go? Uh, there are so many monsters. They're not stopping anything. Uh, yeah. Oh, Mom gave me this sword that can cut through anything. Take this! Shadow descent. Unexpected discovery. <gasps> More puzzles here. Those markings in the other room must be close. Sounds like an airstream appeared. Let's head back and check it out. <gasps> Are we flying again? to the Gateway of Wishes? What happened here? Don't worry. Stuff like this happens all the time. This means the story of the Woolly Kingdom is changing. 
But that's not enough to beat the warriors. <sighs> there has to be more, right? <sighs> Uncle's aerial recon! Find his keepers! Monsters? I'm not scared. I have Mom's sword and shield with me. Leave? Me? All alone! No one picks on Uncle's friends! Leave it to me. Shadow descent. One of the cells. <laughs> Seems like a new discovery. An unexpected discovery. Remnants of the past. <laughs> Feeling stuck? Why don't we search around for clues? Wind, guide me. Behind this door, maybe this door leads to the gateway of wishes, where countless warriors once hoped to pass through to have their wishes come true. And now, the warriors will find out what kind of monsters or treasures are hidden behind the door. <sighs> Is everyone ready? Uh, ready. I'll be able to see my mom soon. Right. Through the door we go! <gasps> Out Leap. of nowhere, a group of gold puffs appear. But they are no match against the mighty warriors with the sword of courage in their hands. There's no fear holding them back as they slice through these monsters with ease. The monsters strike, but our shields stand strong. Now, our warriors know victory is ours.
look! Because of the brave warrior's wishes, oh. the story has a happy ending. Your wish has come true. She can tell her everything now. It's a very happy story. <gasps> oh, shiny! It's And just like that, the little warrior's wish has come true. Put in a perfect ending to this adventure story. The warrior finally gets to meet her mother, telling her all the stories and words she has always wanted to tell. But the warrior's journey won't end here, as the path ahead is a long one. Encore. Rover, thank you both so much. I finally got to see her, and we talked so much. I told her how much I've missed her. How I found the treasures she left behind. And how I met both of you. I never thought I'd see her again. So... I want you to have this. Yes. I know you still have more adventures ahead. So I'd like this wreath to keep you company. I want to go back and tell my dad this story now. And tell him what my mother said to me. So, this is where we say goodbye. Be sure to share our story with everyone. I will. Goodbye. Time for another feedback session from the audience. <sighs> what do you think of this story? <laughs> Encore loves this ending. The woolly warrior finally fulfilled her wish, and she got to tell her mother all her stories about the companion she got to meet, who she went on adventures with, defeating all kinds of monsters that stood in their way, their search for the sword and shield as a team, and how they put together the wreath of hope. We've been to many places together, but there is so much more to go, and so many adventures and stories to write about. These stories are an extension of life. Oh, they are. with happy endings. Mom said the same thing. <laughs> yeah! Encore had never thought of such an ending when telling the Wooly Warrior story in the past. <sighs> I really enjoyed how it ended. 
The story of the Wooly Warrior's search for the relics is finished. And my vacation is about to end. It's time to head back to Black Shores. Oh, enough with the homework already. No biggie. Even though this story is over, Encore will make sure to prepare a new adventure next time we meet. Let's be on the same team together. And you can still be the captain. Wanna do a pinky promise? I pinky promise that we'll write as many stories as we can together, as a team. Pinky promised. Yeah.